Hey, sweet mama. Girl, we back here on the back, child. <laughs> Mommy, we back here on the back, honey. Let me hold on. Let me see if I can get this shit up. Hold on. Okay, girl, honey, I had to go find the, the video. Okay. Um, let me run my uh let me run my uh my uh what's the name? Let me take me down and put the what the notifications and shit up on my
Well, if you hear that, that's the sound of the ocean and sky and all like that. That means you got to go through the ocean. Yes. <laughs> and why are we back here? Hey. <laughs> Somebody decided they couldn't. Somebody decided they couldn't handle it, honey. Yes, yes. What's good with it? What's good with it? Woo, 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 woo. Child. I don't know about us. I don't know. I don't know. Where do we go from here? Mm -mm. Do we walk? Do we something? Do we something? Do we keep on? I don't know. Well, let me give a little opening before we get on to tonight's bullshit. And, uh, oh, let me see. I think I'm off for a good little while this time. Child, for somebody to be trying to soak up all the money. I know, honey. I be trying to be on them breaks, honey. Hold on, let me see how long I'm off. Cause then the people that don't already check to see how long I'm off. Cause they said when I ain't at work, it be boring. Oh yes, baby, I'm good. I'm good in the hood. I'm loving it. Da 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 da. I'm loving it. Yes. So listen, you know. And, and y'all got what's good with it, girl? The the bitch done hit me. Let me. Should I talk about that first? You know, I ain't said shit to that goddamn bald head ass woman in months. So I decided to say something back to this bitch, right? And then, then she went on to talking about she's too busy to respond. I was all after all them threats, and I'ma keep going or whatever. I put it on her ass. And I told her, I'm tired of this bullshit. I need some verification, motherfucker. Why? Why you don't know this? Why you don't know this? Why you act like you unfamiliar with school? And then as per usual, whatever it is, every time when I get on their ass, they want to hit me with a goddamn, you know, want to shut me down this way, right? But see, that don't, I mean, that doesn't matter. Because when I take your ass to the court of law, that's something different. So I don't give a fuck what YouTube does or whatever. These motherfuckers around here are trying to, you know, get their friends off YouTube. That's just like buying your draws off Wish. That's something you just don't do. The fuck? <laughs> but yeah. But I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew this, these days were coming. Ugh. I was just going to have to, you know, I, I've always been a, a type of person. I kept telling y'all, and I ain't really putting nothing in y'all face or whatever. I'm not going to do that. But I, because it's just rude. Certain things is rude, right? To make people feel a way about themselves or whatever. But fuck it. Hey. Y'all, you know, y'all don't care about nobody else's feelings. Y'all. Down here, I got to clue myself. We had like wild goddamn animals. Straight off wild king. So, yeah. So, but anyway, yeah, baby. It got too hot in the kitchen for her ass, baby. And she was like, girl, let me tell you how pathetic this bitch is. If you look on my community wall, or even look on hers, this idiot, I'm when I tell you insecurity... And if somebody says, and you can look, seem like she lived a hard life, honey. You know, when you, when your face looks like that, you look like you don't lived a hard life, honey. Hard life. She always want to compare pictures and shit of her and I, her and I, whatever. She put a picture of my swollen ass nose and mouth and shit up against one of her, I guess, her best pictures. That already indicate that you don't lost. Why you not putting on the good pictures up? No, you cover them faces and shit. All that old weird shit. Bitch, you are. Let me tell you something. Because I know you're going to hear this motherfucker. Because I'm going to upload it when I can to the main channel. 
you are a when I tell you you are a fucking peasant bitch that get they food when motherfuckers throw it on on the motherfucking ground okay that's the kind of motherfucker you are bitch a low life and want to put something back she riding with her boyfriend and and and, and my mother face I guess when you heard that song, I didn't know you know the words to that Jay Z song, "Me and My Boyfriend" by Beyonce and Jay Z. I guess when you heard it played by you know who, who you know who, I guess you was in your what, you know what. <laughs> I know you know the words. Sorry about it. I didn't know. But um, oh, you good? You good? But um, so what? Well, listen, um. You know, I always talk anyway. I can hold it. I can hold it down by myself. Listen, so, um, anyway. I she want, bitch, I'm asking you to put a diploma in my face. A degree. Something. And I don't know why y'all haven't figured it out yet. I guess it's part of your delusional, your sick, whatever you want to be. There's nothing you could put in my motherfucking face. That I definitely can't put in yours. I don't get it. It's like, get the fuck on. Go do something else with your life. Like, are you serious? Put a marriage motherfucking certificate or some shit in my guy and do that. Of course, I can do that too. But that's just crazy. But yeah, honey, she didn't like it. Baby, I was tearing her ass. See, I was putting her ass in a box. I don't want to come up no more of that shucking and jiving. Them excuses you give. I just want to know that. Like, you ain't gonna know now. All that kicky kick, whatever. You nervous in a motherfucker. You're a number of fucking liar. That's all you motherfuckers around here do. La, 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 la. I have no idea how your mouth stay moist with all these fucking dry ass lies, honey. I can't take it. My child, ooh. It's some things that uh, that's on the top of my list with pet peeves and stuff. But let me tell you something. I did so. I'm so proud of myself. Y'all going to never take. Y'all don't even know how I had to adjust. How I had to edit myself to deal with all you motherfuckers. Y'all would never. When I tell you. I ain't going to believe it anyway. Because you don't think uh, people, you know, you think everybody just like you motherfuckers. Right? Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Couldn't be that way if I tried. And I'm not saying I'm out. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. And you got to understand when I be talking about stuff like that, I'm not talking about monetary shit. I'm not talking about being with nobody. I'm not talking about it. I'm just talking about character-wise. That's all I'm talking about. That's all I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck what. I, I, I can imagine that the, the devil drives a car. He probably picked a nice car to drive. Who fucking knows? I don't know. And I don't plan to find out. But what I'm saying is that, I mean, and I, I'm going to play, and you know, I won't cut, re, really do this, but I want to play what Spitting Fire is saying because there's a message there. Although I don't really, you know, I'm not into, I'm not getting into who she was applying the message to. There's a message there. And I fell out. That shit was funny. I was weak. Okay. Because now you can put home the list of motherfuckers that are traumatized. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think they got that. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. I just thought about it. Wait a minute. Hold on.
I'm coming, y'all. Ooh, I swallowed them kind of hard. Mm -mm. But yeah, um, I kind of went out of my order. Keep being me, I'm keep doing me, and, and understand, right? I don't take me that serious, even though I'm a serious person. I poke fun at myself. I don't mind sharing my journey with my face all fucked up. I don't, I don't mind that shit. Me being every size in the goddamn size and catalog. I don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about none of that. You know I don't give a fuck about none of that because that shit don't make a break, right? That's That doesn't define me. That doesn't define you. But when you're dealing with insecure people like that motherfucking bald head and one pap bitch, you should see the shit. She gonna pull, oh, you go to her wall. She got my lips up there and swollen ass nose and shit up against her. And you slide it. And then she got her motherfucking uh, 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 pest control ass picture sitting up there. So, bitch, you put my lips and nose up against your ugly ass whole face. Do you know what that says? Besides you a dumbass. Like, no, we need a verification that you should even be around here typing or spewing any kind of information. You're a dumbass. You're a dummy. I don't know. Damn, she had that picture of money to put him out. How you put it in my face? Bitch, are you crazy? You trying to you you trying to buy what I already have. You trying to go somewhere. Well, yeah, you trying to go somewhere where I've already been, but they ain't gonna let you in anyway. Guarantee. Those motherfuckers ain't letting you in. That's a guarantee, baby. Okay. Nobody's using your motherfucking name and likeness to get jobs, to get here and get that, whatever. I'll show y'all a little glimpse. I, I, you know what? Hmm, I told you it was going to be some narrative killer. I'm going to start. I told you I'm going to start slowly with you motherfuckers. Because y'all want everybody to be like you motherfuckers. And that's just not how it is. We are not the same. None of us. I'm not saying nobody's better than whatever. None of them. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. But in her delusion, she thinks just because she all fucked up. And all of that, we all got to be all fucked up with one bathroom and shit. That's not the case. She's so motherfucking crazy. She's just trying to keep up. Honey, when, I'm trying to tell, when I tell you, she's going to be broken in the crazy house. She keeps fucking with me, baby. I am tearing that mental up. <laughs> and laughing. Laughing. Yeah, but this is crazy. So, listen, y'all. Of course, I got some little start of things to open it's, it's, it's just a little short video and I, i'll play a little bit of it this girl uh i told you everybody concerned about my goddamn weight loss hold on this is this funny ass shit Not everybody, you know, yeah. but you look good, don't overdo it. 
No, I ain't trying. No, I ain't trying. No, I ain't trying. Okay, I'm okay. I'm doing good. Whatever. I was eating all kinds of shit all through the night. Whatever. Trying to stay up, eat all this stuff. Right. And then I went to the scare this morning. I'm about five of them. I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me. You did? Yeah. What's the problem? Is it the medicine? You know, medicine no, is a right. side effect. Um, no, it's just, um, that's just how my body is. Oh. It'll okay. get you. But you know how the pork, you were Yeah, yeah, but, you know, all this stuff working out. Oh, okay. And then, you know, and then, um, and then, like, if my body, that's what my body do. No, it's not natural. It's not natural with me or whatever. Right. It's going to, Okay. Cause they have a right? Why well, yes. I'm able to get into her elementary clothes. Right. Yeah. And um. And so what I did was, so I said, let me try on something here. And I tried on the eight to ten. I was like, hell no, this jacket don't even give, and it just fits me perfectly. Right. Hell no. Let's you gotta be saying you can fit an eight. Eight, 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 eight. Yeah, yeah. Not, not the bottom. Not the bottom. No, you know that ain't working. <laughs> Girl, and then I uh, had a baby. And he got this white guy. Swear he know me. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't get that one. Yeah, cool. Let me see. Walgreens. Yeah, I've been to Walgreens. Oh, you do? You work in pharmacy? Which one? Which um, Southside and Point Meadows. Southside Point Meadows. Is that by Twin Lakes? This is middle school? Okay, that's right. Right, right. Okay, so you work over. Where is that work? Oh, that Walgreens around the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm going, yep, yep. I was going, my next question is you ever been in trouble? <laughs> Uh, then I'll be like, you're sitting there in court. Uh, not since 2010 when I lived in New York. Okay, well, that wouldn't be me. Okay. Other than that, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, that's probably no, where you, I know you, you from. Yeah, that's where I know you from. Yeah, probably. You know what I'm saying? All right, sir. <laughs> this is a little monologue. Yeah, honey. And, uh, child, then, baby, I got one. Where the track all fucked up. Listen to how this tracker caught this shit here. Huh? Listen to this. This was fucked up right here. Listen to this. Listen to that. Y'all hear that shit? Y'all hear that shit in slow motion? I must be hit something. I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. Anyway, that's my little opening for night. So, back to this goddamn wolf. Girl. If I ain't, listen, if I ain't somebody to fuck with, if all you got to do is hit my shit because you can't stand the motherfucking pressure, bitch, you ain't nothing but a loser. And if any of your people hit my motherfucking ass, they losers right with your motherfucking ass. Okay? What you think was going to happen? You think he's going to win? You ain't got the shit to win with. Hell, get your ass on. Well, I'm sorry, y'all. We're on disclaimer number two. You know, I have to talk to these motherfuckers like that. They don't get it. They don't goddamn get it, honey. But y'all, 
Mm-mm. I don't know. I want to make sure. But yeah, y'all. I took some little notes and shit while I was listening to Spitting Fire's video. And I hollered. I hollered my ass off. I hollered my ass off. But let me kind of let me kind of get in. I don't know where y'all want to go first. Well, we we could talk a little bit more before um before well, I, well, well let me set it up kind of and here's the thing right this is another thing i don't like these motherfuckers take their videos down and it's hard for me because you know what we try to if we're going to talk about some shit we try to get it as close to the point as possible as accurate as possible with no kind of lies and misinformation and shit like that that way we can come to, you know, um, a pretty good and an accurate assessment of what the fuck is going on, okay? Or what done happened, okay? Because apparently it's some stuff that happened between Dennis and Sylvia. It jumped off. And then it was some stuff that happened between Sylvia and and spitting fire all right and then of course randa comes in too right okay now i don't have a problem with none of them okay i will not a beep like a back and forth back and forth right now problem i, I don't have that going on okay um and i do believe that all of them told you know told some truths and i some of them didn't tell you know the truth okay more of a i don't know if it's cross between like a lie or it's a, or um just their personal feelings so it's because sometimes someone's personal feelings can be a lie all right but we're gonna find out that you cannot get your your friends from youtube especially this sector if y'all haven't seen nothing else you have seen the worst motherfuckers on the planet that's in my opinion and maybe because i've been sheltered because my people now don't let me fuck around with all kind of people the, the people that i fucked around with that wasn't you know i don't know whatever you want to call it those people, I just me, you know, being a person that hey, I don't be really, you know, be be too that that um have those type of constraints and stuff like that on how I deal with people, whatever. Because I know how to deal with people. I can totally dislike your motherfucking ass, and you will never know it unless you hit something. And then I have to tell you, okay. That's just how I operate. Because I don't believe in going back and forth the all forever. I'm not crazy. Okay. Oh, Lord. And let me tell y'all something. Thinking about crazy. Do you know that man that that girl talking about? I'm, I'm just trying to put that bitch riding the car with this dude. I don't know who the fuck the man is. I don't really give a fuck. And she going to say something. And he talking about what you talking about. He said, and he told her something wrong with you. He told one pap something wrong with you. That man every look like every time he always is the is the um the, the gift that keeps on giving to me. He's always embarrassing her ass. <laughs> I'm like, hell no. Mm-mm. If that's your nigga that you claiming, hell no. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Queenie, you think this is a snake? See, Queenie has all the goddamn information. I think Queen E is AI. I think Queen E is a bot. I think Queen E is something. Okay, because she has all the information, all the paperwork, every goddamn. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Queen. <laughs> but and out of everybody's story, I'm glad you said that. 
Dennis's story is the one that I believe the least. Okay, because I don't know if y'all knew about this, right? But a while back, Dennis and Tasha K was into it, right? He he was suing her or she was suing him or something. Something crazy. And he was trying to serve her or she was trying to serve her. It was the weirdest, weirdest situation that popped off. That was before I had even found this sector. Before, you know, this sector was even, you know, up and running. Straight up. Right, right, Queen E. It was crazy. And I tried to call Debo because everybody took their videos down. And I know Debo, when I woke up, because I was so sleepy last night. And when I woke up, I heard Randa hollering and screaming. And then I saw Debo on the panel. I said, okay, you know. Um, and I heard a little bit, and then I said, Well, shit, I'm gonna need Debo, so I got to get the answers. What the fuck is going on? So I'm out here piecemealing it together, honey. They done took the videos down. Yeah, like shit. So let, let me tell you, hold on for a minute, hold on. Lord have mercy. I, I guess I guess it's a starvation point. We've been trying to get an interview with. Her and his mentee said he was able to grace the able. Okay, so let me ask you this. Did the girl end up giving an a interview to Sylvia or did she hit Sylvia panel? Give me that answer. Give me one minute.
Yes, honey. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, the girl Mariah and the grass I can take that one. Yeah, she has to take it down. Encourage her. Uh, Sylvia. Okay, let me ask you this. What did Sylvia say on Tasha K's panel? What did she say? What is going on? What she said on Tasha's K panel, honey? What she talking about R. Kelly? What she talking about the dentist thing? What happened? This some great uh, y'all. This that's the sound of me putting on my gloves to try to eat this food. You know, I'm sorry, y'all. I I got smacking y'all ear. I don't be eating all the time around the clock and and going to sleep on it and shit. My ass gonna be. <laughs> mm mm. So many times it's the gossip. Uh-huh. Uh, other characters. It was about Ernesto. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. They acting like she done double crossed R. Kelly or something. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I should have known it. And of course, I, I mean, I, I don't. You know, I ain't trying to go through all them videos and shit just to find it. So what? Um, Tasha K dropped her link or something, or um, or was she especially? You know, did she brought the paperwork? Girl, bye, girl, bye. Mm -mm. Okay. Where you said that. So now I can really talk about this crazy shit. Okay. Y'all, this is ridiculous. When I tell you it's ridiculous, it's ridiculous as hell. Now. I was listening to, and I don't know when this girl did this video. I don't know when it was placed on Mr. Dennis's channel or whatever. I don't know. But I know a few days ago when Sylvia was live, Dennis hit her panel. Okay. Okay. From how he was acting, I think, I, I, I this is my personal feeling. When I was at work, I was like, oh, he kind of acting shady towards Sylvia. And kind of disrespectful. And then, you know, he was doing all of that. You know, I'm trying, trying to be, you know, just, you know, when somebody's energy done changed, you know. And then he promoted himself on the channel. Now, here's the thing, right? You know me, I don't give a damn over here if you do it or not. Okay, this is not a starving channel. We ain't hungry over here or whatever. I don't give a shit. Um, And I'm not saying whether or not Sylvia did or not. But how he plugged himself after being shady and, and, and telling people to go on over to his channel, stuff like that, you know, I, I kind of felt a kind of way about it. You caught that too? Girl, yeah. Oh, wow. See, I couldn't see the number or nothing like that because I had a plan in my ear. Yeah. And see, this is what happens when you have clout chasers, right? You know? So, mm -mm. I caught that shit. I'm like... He being shaded at, at first. I'm telling you something. It was so, it was so um evident that I thought they had a problem. Cause I was listening in and out, whatever. And I said, well, maybe that I said they done fell out. I really didn't know it was at first. I was like, oh my God. 
And then they laughed or whatever. I said, well, maybe that's how they relate to each other. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yes, honey. I caught that shit. Now, honey, I'm an observationalist, honey. I, you know, self-proclaiming, I guess. Well, I mean, I got training in it, but, you know, still. I caught that shit. I was like, damn. And then he goes to promote himself because his YouTube channel isn't, as far as people that be in the chat and stuff like that, is nowhere near like hers. Like, let's be real. Sorry, y'all. I'm hungry as hell. I eat like this and then still be losing. I don't know what the fuck is going on. They say ain't nothing wrong, but mm -hmm. but yeah, I caught that shit. I was like, mm -mm. I'm just saying, you know. I would have had to stop the live. <laughs> Y'all hold a lie. Y'all hold a lie. We got a pro person with a problem up here. But yeah. So. Now. Then the next video I had caught. Was with. Spent fire. Going live. To inform everybody that she was blocked in the chat in Sylvia's chat. Man, okay, here we go. I um, I I don't know what's the the psychology behind why people do that. But I don't know what the people listening are supposed to do. They can't unblock your ass. Or I don't know. I, I don't know what that's about. But, you know, she went to announce that. So, listen. I don't have nothing against fit and fire. Well, you know, some of the things I have, I take exception to what she says sometimes. I mean, just like, and I expect people to do the same with me, right? But then she said, so she said, who blocks spit and fire? You know, and then Spin Fire tried to make that comment a thing, right? You know, sometimes somebody say they blocked or or whatever, and you just might inadvertently, I mean, just not even thinking, like, who blocked such and such, right? And then, but you know you got, if you're on stream, y'all, whatever, you know you got to go around to YouTube to see who blocked that person. Yeah. Oh. He's been snaking on like that. And I'm like, because I do it. Somebody might say they block. I can't see it from this end right now. I have to go on the other side and see, okay, who blocked? And sometimes you might ask who blocked such and such asking for an answer. Not really trying to verify who did the blocking. Asking for an answer as to why it was blocked. And I'm not taking up for nobody. And I hope, I really think this is silly. And they all should have a conversation offline about it. Okay. 
I agree that it's between should be between her and and Sylvia. I, I understand that. Right. The extra. But here's the thing, right? If we good and if we have a problem. Y'all should never know nothing about it. Straight up. Okay. Unless the shit jumps off online. Now, the shit jumps off online. Then the online is where it goes down, right? But, you know, if we straight, mm -mm. it's going down behind behind the scenes. The one time, and I didn't even really get Larry that time. It's something that jumped off on his channel. And I, you know, went to my channel, whatever. And, you know, it was kind of squashed then. But the other times I had to, you know, I had one or two arguments with Larry. That happened behind the scenes. Y'all know about that? I told you he's good people. Y'all don't take my word for it, but okay, whatever. But how um I mean how she carried on about being blocked. My like, girl. Did you did you um perform a blockable offense? Shit. Yeah. Here's the thing, right? And I picked this up. I, baby, I know who the people I be dealing with. People think just because they give you financial support, that gives you autonomy to do whatever you want to on they on their motherfucking channel on, on whom, whomever channel. That's not how that works. That's why when she started gift giving shit to me, I was doing a gift giving back to her motherfucking ass. You understand what I'm saying? Before it was just, you know, I have donated before to her before this, but when she started gift giving, I'll gift giving back. Because you'll never have that opportunity to say, well, she, I think she has, whatever. You you can also say, well, how many times my name would have been that motherfucking thank you. Uh, motherfucking goddamn uh, little videos for the motherfucking donations. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. See, baby, I'm, doing, I'm trying to tell you. If I tell you it how a person is, you can put money on it. Not saying nothing bad, but I'm just saying. People think... Let me tell you something. An, if, if a nigga take care of me, I'm not kissing his ass. So that's why I get the information up front. How, do, do you expect any kind of special treatment or any kind of special behavior? Because I'm telling you, you would keep this. <laughs> yeah, you can keep this. Mm-mm. 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 You can keep this shit. If that's what you expect, you expect me to kiss your ass, you can keep you can keep it. And I'm not that type of motherfucking person. If I was broke and fucking hungry, I don't conform. You know, I never be one of those whatever you like type motherfuckers. Uh uh, men don't want me for that. Uh uh. People don't want to be around me for that. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. I'm not doing none of that. I'm not. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to tell you. I don't see people. I don't see women. Say sanctified and full by the feel by the Holy Spirit. And they get with a dude 
the next week if that dude ain't like that the next week honey cussing and fussing and acting like a damn fool i'm like honey y'all you don't you don't compromise your spirituality for a dude girl bye Mm-mm. sorry no they ain't how i get down honey they ain't, and you ain't got to do all that that's too much that's too much right but that's how people are people think that just because they donate to you whatever you can't be you can't block them none of that type of shit. you can't go off on their ass whatever when they no i don't even set no shit up like that i tell you straight up we don't have no special privileges we don't have that so if you donate and think you're gonna get special privileges thinking that you get some type of respect more than anybody else then you might as well keep your money because this is not a starving channel mm -mm, we ain't hungry over here no we ain't in need we got it <laughs> bills are paid every time you turn around it, it's 10 can get up on this on my on my platform at least whatever how many ever, ever stream y'all let you get the highest package with the, not the highest pack with the one in the middle not the business pack but the one where you get 10 and that yeah mm -mm. and we good you know so you have to watch that type of stuff and then I think you know Spotify has a, a ego I think the other day she said that or whatever you know uh, um an ego but and the certain thing she was saying that, you know, she expect back because that's the way she is. And like I said, when I heard somebody say, we can't expect you out of, you can't expect yourself out of others. That's a true statement. So how her loyalty is, and she can't expect that out of others. If she won't allow nobody to block any people on her channel, she can't expect that out of other people's channel. You can't, you can't expect that. And we know she controls it so no shade but this is the truth i i'm not this is not i haven't said before but it's just sad right and, and yeah when others get into it, it makes it worse but it is sad it is sad and you know from what i was hearing around to say i don't think she was saying anything um like other than what it, it could appear to be right it, it could appear appear to be like some type of jealousy it could like or or, or you know it depends on how, how you take it right because imagine this, you know, you have somebody that's, you know, on the grounds or doing her channel the way she wants to do it, covering what she wants to cover, hooking up with the people she want to hook, all that type of stuff, right? And she's getting to where she wants to want to be, right? She's getting picked up by major outlets and things of that nature, whatever. And you have people that, you know, do you know, do some clout chasing shit and whatever, and they not where she is or whatever with it. I mean, it is what it is. People, I, I'm, I'm, let me change the word clout chase because I don't want to say that. Um doing some and i'm not this ain't not this one particular person right here to do cloud chasing a lot of people do cloud chasing but um they are trying to be the windy just like tasha k said she wanted to be windy winds she like that you know y'all know what i'm trying to say but the the reasons why see but there are reasons why silly is being picked up by major outlets and stuff it's because of the different paths she's gone down with the transcript with being at the court with being here with being there whatever she is bringing visibility to herself and her channel and 
And I don't think, you know, she is considering herself a, a real journalist or whatever. She's just covering some shit. And she is um, too opinionated and biased sometimes to be considered like a, a real journalist or whatever. She's giving her how she feels or whatever. So, you know, and she is a supporter. So that rat in itself kind of knocks out the whole journalist the journalist type conversation. So I don't know what this was going on and on about. Like that was crazy. I just don't know. But I call him shading her on that live. I really did. And I was like, mm, okay. So you got that. And yeah, it, it gives a, a different dynamics when other people get into it, but I laugh so hard at spitting fire because she has to learn you cannot get your friends off YouTube, especially this sector. So let me go to where is her video, Lord? Oh, here it is right now. Okay, here goes spitting fire. I do not own the rights to this audio. This is for information and the educational and whatever purposes only honey but this is and, and, and hurry up they got all kind of wars let me tell you hurry up i was on live this uh late yeah, last yesterday last night and i'm talking i'm addressing the sylvia shit, right these motherfuckers Come over here talking KB shit. And I know they from over there because they said all the characters that's over there. If you don't get, y'all don't get your asses and wait. Okay. So they want me over there so goddamn bad to get in their bullshit. They want me to fight with them so bad over there. I ain't think about them goddamn folks. I got my own goddamn problems over here and my own sector into which I'm from. Shit. And you got to pick a fight now, goddamn. I'm going to pick a fight with folks I know the character. I ain't finna pick God, shit. I'll be like, now, what's your name? I ain't finna be doing that. I'm going to know who the hell I'm cussing out. Except for Sister T. Oh, gorilla looking ass. But anyway. Damn. Now, see, what the fuck was I saying? Uh, damn it. That motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker came in here. And I lost all kind of train of thought. What was I saying? Um. Oh, so Sky Zone, Sky Zone, Sky Zone. Uh, thought that uh we was blocking her, so we gotta let it be known that uh we didn't block her over here. And and then anytime you feel the need that um you are blocked or something like that, just shoot me an email or something like that. You don't have to get in your feelings because if you ain't did nothing, there's no reason for you to get in your feelings. All right. It's just it, sometimes it's technical issues and stuff like that. But I saw her. So I thought that she and I called her out. So I thought that she but she was saying other people uh, can't see you. Now, if other people can't see you, they could have you blocked. It don't necessarily be me because I can see you. So if I can see you and you on the channel holders channel, uh, then other people that, you know, other channels may have you blocked. And then when you come show up in the chat, they can't see you. That's how that goes. So you, you got to understand how this stuff works too, because, but they don't necessarily mean the channel is spitting fire. So please, I got enough going on with this bullshit with the infamous and Randa and all these motherfuckers acting a fool. I don't need no misunderstanding on something that it ain't even it. All right. I really don't. Now getting back to um, uh, I didn't get I I went off early a little earlier this morning just a little bit. I know they was going probably off over there because that's just how they do. I don't give two shits, but I'm gonna say what I need to say because I've been in this fight for forty five years, and uh, in the thread on that video, a lot of y'all been talking, so I was repl replying to some of y'all, and then some of y'all want me to keep typing and i just want to go keep typing all in in the chat like that for y'all to just screenshot and show a motherfucker they can come over here and i can get a goddamn view all right that's just how i fucking feel about it let me stop talking and let me come on live so you can record 
and you can hear exactly what I'm saying and what it is I'm talking about now. I'm going to address these uh, things in the chat. Okay, I'm going to address the chat for a minute because it's been a lot going on. And, and let me tell you something. So the apology is was to the Sky Zone for feeling that way and also to y'all. Okay, I do owe y'all an apology. And the reason why I owe a lot of the subs an apology is because there was a lot of things going on that I didn't think that was important, so I didn't say anything. But it, it, it came to the forefront, and people are now seeing it. And people's like, well, we told you, well, you this and you that, and y'all right. I take accountability for all of that, okay? Be, but the thing of it is, is with this R. Kelly shit, I did not want to take away from support. Because we were losing so many support. So let me tell you what the fuck I was doing. And I may have been wrong about the shit. That's why I'm apologizing. When there was some shit, I don't know everything that went on behind the scenes. I don't. Because a lot of times people do underhanded shit. I wasn't a part of none of that shit. I didn't look nobody up. I didn't record no motherfucking body. I don't dox nobody. I don't do none of that bullshit. That ain't the channel of spitting fire. That ain't me. Okay, I sit my fat ass here and I tell a motherfucker how I feel to their face. I ain't scared of another motherfucker on here because ain't nobody going to do shit to me. You understand? And furthermore, um, the stuff that I did here, I let it bypass me only because that I didn't want the support system to leave and I didn't want less channels to be yelling free R. Kelly when we on here trying to bring awareness to the injustice of this man. So I took on people that probably was ethically in this fight wasn't morally right, but I set up there and, and support it because we lost so many. Like we lost a lot of support when we first started. People sway, people went different directions. People did all kind of shit. So I kind of just was like, okay, whatever right but then i have fallen out and then we end up talking behind the scenes or something and, and everything be okay and i'm like okay let's get back on track let's at least i thought that right and everything but then the shit happened again now when somebody do something the first time shame on them they do something the second time shame on me so at this point it's shame on me because it's the second time this shit or maybe even the third i can't even remember keep count this shit didn't happen so a lot of y'all came in my thread when I made the video this morning when I was upset that she put that shit at the bottom that that shit wasn't that shit wasn't cool because I ain't never did that to the infamous or her. You see what I'm saying? You go respect me because I damn sure gave you respect. You go do it because I'm going to take it. So the fact of the matter is uh, when I sat up there and did that, a lot of y'all came in my thread and y'all was talking about y'all blogger okay y'all particular blogger where they was trying to tell you this let me they was trying to tell you that let me tell you something everybody in here was telling me about somebody else and vice versa y'all was telling somebody about my ass too ain't nobody in this motherfucking fight a saint that'll be include me but i ain't trying to be one ain't nobody but the fact of the matter is i can say for myself and i don't need nobody else to tell me how solid i was if I have a difference of opinion about something, it's because I felt that it was a need to switch sides because of what has been seen. But now I have a, a, a key uh, reason to. The fact of the matter is, is that when shit hit the fan earlier this year, that was my cue. That was my cue. And a lot of people don't like the fact that I'm the type of person... When I say didn't I tell you, I bring it, I throw it up in people's face. I do. Because I want people to stand on shit. And they don't do that. They don't do that. And see, just how I'm coming out here and I'm expressing myself to you, what people do? They have to make memes. They got to cuss you out. They got to do all kinds of shit. I just talk my shit. Because I know the truth will destroy any and every motherfucker on here. Any and every motherfucker on here. I agree with that. You see what I'm saying? You always, I don't have to have recordings of a motherfucker that don't matter. Okay, so let me start real, real quick, right? So, just like she said that the whole mishap with Sky Zone could have been, you know, dealt with with the little email. It's been fired. Take your own advice. 
You know, we some hypocrites around here. You understand that? We are some hypocrites. And yes, the truth around here is a little different. Normally, the truth, people, normal people, ride on out with the truth, right? They be like, oh, well, that person's telling the truth. Around here, if you drop the truth on them, they just try to come up with another narrative or another lie to top your truth. I don't know how that works. And then motherfuckers run with that shit. That's why I came up, developed the motherfucking goddamn tagline. Tell me I'm lying. That's all I need you to do. Tell me I'm lying. Somebody going to goddamn see the forest for the goddamn trees. Shit. Because my fight is for Robert Sylvester Kelly. I don't, these are non factors. People feel like those are receipts. You can't have a receipt on a motherfucker that's a non factor. Okay? You a clearance rat. Mm. It's a final sale when Ooh. it comes to the channel of spitting fire. The only motherfucker that I would need receipts on is Robert Sylvester Kelly. And when I did the interview with him, I showed y'all the conversation and let y'all hear the conversation. But every other motherfucker on this goddamn in this sector and all these other fucking uh, blogs and they got receipts and they got recordings. All that shit is a non-factor because we ain't where the fuck is that. I keep telling y'all that. I'm a fucking blogger. I'm not a celebrity, so why the fuck would you want to hear what the fuck I got to say on any goddamn thing other than R. Kelly? Do you understand what I'm saying? They don't get that, but let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. When the shit hit the fan earlier this year, I said they all in it together, right? I said that. I meant that. But then there were conversations behind the scene. I'm like, well, forget it. They're yelling for R. Kelly. They putting shit out there. We need as much as we possibly can, right? We don't need no more division. But the fact of the matter is, it's already been divided. It's already been divided. It's already been divided when Oak Cove kept in. Anytime a motherfucker, you talking to a motherfucker, and they want to justify how to support or they want to just, and you've been a supporter, and this is the reason why we are here, to get the information out here, not to make friends, but then that's what young folks do. They they, they make friends and they click, and it's, it's almost like college, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like, you know, they, they got to have that. Been fire. See, that's, that's the problem. That's the problem I have right there with you, baby. People can talk to whoever the fuck they want to talk to. I mean... For some reason, some of y'all think whether or not you support R. Kelly is a life decision. What the fuck is that about? I'm pretty sure if you're a Democrat, you work with Republicans and Independents. Does that mean you can't work with a motherfucker? Does that mean that, that all when you get off, y'all can't go to them little functions and shit the job have. I bet you decide to hang out after work. Does that mean that? If you remove any title from any of you motherfuckers or any group, you're just people with an opinion. That's it. Stop looking for friends and that on YouTube. <laughs> Not that we all be looking, okay? I don't have to have that. I don't have to have that. I don't have to have a motherfucker speak for me. I don't have to have a motherfucker fight for me. I don't have to have none of that shit. And people come in my chat earlier today. Kept saying, well, this person told you about that person. This Everybody who I once talked to or was once cool with in this sector told me about the next motherfucker. And to come to find out all them motherfuckers just alike that told me about the next motherfucker. There was motherfuckers told me about this motherfucker and they may <laughs> have been right. But then there was motherfuckers told me about that motherfucker 
and they were right. <laughs> so everybody who told me about everybody or anybody on here, they were right. And they probably was right about you when it come to me. I don't get two shits. So listen to this, right? Listen to this. Now, this is what I don't get. This is, I cannot understand it. This is, boy, this is a fucked up place. You do have people that try to tell you about the next person, try to tell you about the next person, whatever. Okay? They can hot mouth people. But time you hot mouth their ass, nobody should listen to you. It just is listen to them. And they warn people against you hot mouthing them. But they doing the same to you. And most of the time they do it first. I don't get it. That's why I, I cannot I cannot play a game that's not fair. Okay? That's why that little crazy ass bitch don't struck me, whatever. That's not fair, right? I don't give a fuck. No, that's not fair, right? Because you wanted to fight, but then when I go to fight in your ass. Then you don't you don't want to fight no more. The fuck? No, it's not on your terms, bitch. Understand that. It's a pecking order around this motherfucker. I'm in disclaimer number two, y'all. You know I goes in and out, in and out. <laughs> but um, yeah. Everybody, everybody. And with these men, I, I'm I'm in shock. I'm in total shock. These are the pettiest ass, jealous ass men I've ever seen in my entire life. Would throw your ass under the bus and back up. That's unbelievable to me. That's why I'm the king. Because I, I don't I, I don't see no king. I, I don't see it. I don't know. The couple of people that I will, you know, you know, vote in as the king. Y'all won't even, you know, hear their side of the damn king story. So I don't know. I guess I got to be the king till somebody come through and take the crown off my damn head because it don't fit anyway. One pal. But anyway, but please know. This is some crazy, crazy shit right here. And these don't get your friends and shit off YouTube, especially this sector. I'm telling you. Something ain't quite right. And we don't have time to try to figure out what it is, okay? Because what you get on this motherfucker from the channel spitting fire is what you get. You like it, you like it, you don't. You got a fucking damn button. You can push unsubscribe. That's what that motherfucker there is for. But these motherfuckers get mad at me when I call their asses out for fucking with the ops. Every motherfucker on here got mad at me for fucking with the ops. I called their asses out on it. Some of the motherfuckers fell out with me over the ops. And yet, they fell out with each other, but they all just a motherfucking like. They all just a motherfucking like. And when earlier in the year, when I had a, a conversation with Kels, I seen a lot of shit. I said, there was a lot of goddamn hate when I thought everybody was going to be happy. That wasn't the case, right? So what happened was there was a, this thing about the DOJ and writing the DOJ and the BOP or whoever the hell else we was writing back then. Okay, it was about eight months ago now. Six, what, nine months ago, whatever. Okay? So, I'm sitting up here pushing out what Kels wanted me to push out. I've had a conversation with him. Young lady Randa didn't agree with that. She didn't agree with all this and that. She did not agree and I was trying to explain to her that that's not what it was about. She went on other people's channels and then I think it was opinionated and some other folks or whatever. I don't know. Right? People coming to ask me, is she still a supporter? I said, I don't know. You got to ask her. 
Okay, I'm not finna jump head first into the skillet for no damn body else. You gotta ask her. This is how it happened. Now, come to find out, fast forward now, I'm not gonna reiterate and rehash everything, but y'all was there. Y'all seen the shit play out and how the shit went down. So then, I'm like, damn, I'm fucked up. Like, I thought that that was the goal. But the goal wasn't for me. The goal was for somebody else. Everybody can get it but me. But I've been in this fight for five years, and I got to fight for people that I thought would be happy, right? So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Half of y'all got it. The other half of y'all didn't get it. The damn instigators come out. The very same instigators that came out the night. Some of them motherfuckers old cold, some of them young and all this and that. They don't like me. <laughs> I don't give a shit because I don't like their ass. I don't really like young folks too much like that no damn way. Okay. So I want a lot of them off my goddamn channel too and unsubscribe. I told y'all's playing too many motherfucking games. I want my shit to go down. See, I don't give a fuck about that because I don't like a lot of y'all young folks are just stupid and you can't tell you nothing. And so therefore you go over there and do what you do. You do what you do, right? So that being said, and I'm, I'm, I'm really pissed because you don't come for my channel when I don't fuck with you. If you got a problem, if I say it's subliminal, it's out of respect. Y'all don't get that. Y'all don't get me. And I can't fuck with you. I, I'm too grown. I ain't going back and forth. I ain't fucking with you. But I wanted to say this face to face. And I wanted to say it earlier this morning. But I was it was 5 o'clock in the morning. I have a bonnet on and every goddamn thing else. But I'm not going to play no games with young folks. I'm not going to argue with you. I will scold you down. Because you ain't lived life long enough. Okay? That's why I say stay out grown folks. Business, y'all don't get it. Y'all never got it. And everything else, and then these older ones put y'all in. Uh, spin fire. Uh, round is just in the block, the next block up, like 40 or something like that. She's not 30. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, I have a hard time considering somebody 40 years old, young folk. Okay, uh -uh. no, baby. Yeah, I no, I, I could, I can't. Uh, no, uh, that's why I be tripping when they call us old. Like, honey, I ain't even old enough to have you. What? And it to be the distraction of the shit that we trying to do. If you really moved all the old younger folks out the way, this goddamn sector could have moved. It mountains. It could have got somewhere. It was too much of that. God, and I told you the young people are the feminists. They the feminists. They don't take accountability for shit. So getting back on to what I was saying, when she was doing that, she was really counteracting everything that I was saying as a support system for Kales, right? So I'm thinking, well, maybe she really feel this way and maybe she just don't understand. I'm leaving it alone. I'm going to let the people know, though, because that's why I'm here. I'm always keep saying, didn't I tell you? Because I'm 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 here to advocate the injustice for this man. That ain't gonna waver. That's not gonna waver for a blogger. That's not gonna waver for people I like. That's not going to waver. Robert Sylvester Kelly is who I'm on here advocating for when I'm talking about injustice and so many other black men. That's not gonna waver. I'm sorry y'all felt that way. I'm sorry I didn't change enough for you guys in these five years. I'm sorry I didn't co-mingle enough with you guys for five years. I'm sorry. I didn't do that. But my point was, mm. people was having ulterior motives and agendas. I knew that from the beginning. I didn't give two shits about that as long as they was yelling free R. Kelly for the people. Because it was important for a mass of people to hear that. So that Trump, what people agenda was when it comes to the channel Spit Fire. And that's why I'm apologizing to you because a lot of the stuff I did know, a lot of the stuff people were trying to get me to say on my channel and I wouldn't say. Ill will of, of uh, chaos. I'm staying focused in the support part. That don't waver. That does not waver. 
Okay, I won't say things, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things right now that I'm not saying because it's irrelevant. But I'm going to tell you this. It was a lot of motherfucking shit that didn't happen behind the scenes that I even asked Dottie about. Did you hear about that happened at the courthouse or such and such about Kels? She said, yeah, I heard about it, but I don't I don't believe it. And if she was there, too. Who am I to sit up there? I'm like, mm, OK. All right. So I keep on going, keep doing what I'm doing, grow your channel, whatever. And I don't take things that personal. And for the support system, I should have taken it that personal because if you're here to support Kales, you should know everything or a lot of the stuff that is really important for you to know. So when fast forward it again, a couple of months, well, a month ago, when Bonjean decided to sue the DOJ, BOP, whatever acronym that she decided to sue her and Kells and Tasha K. I was happy, right? I was the one who came on here and I said it in this sector first and I, I spoke it, right? And that's when Sky Zone came in here. And I wanted Sky Zone to understand that she wasn't blocked. Right. Queen. You know, when it's stuff like that, you two play a lot of games. So you cannot take it at face value of somebody blocking you. Spins right, me hypocritical. So, I'm sitting up here, and I'm uh, uh, happy. But what it did, it was proving her the wrong from eight months ago when he was talking his shit. What I was trying to explain. See, when people was telling him he shouldn't did this, he knew exactly what he was doing. His attorney knew exactly what they were doing. So anyway, in the process of all that happening, right? I'm like, okay, I'm, 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 I can't, I'm not gonna fall out with nobody right now. Except for that nigga over there, I fell out with him too. I don't wanna have no more dealings with him. He showed his ass. But I said, I'm not gonna fall out with infamous. I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. We got to keep it pushing. We gotta get this message out here about Kales. We gotta keep this thing going. We gotta keep the momentum going. We gotta do it. So. Hey, forget all that. I tried to put my what um the miss dismiss what what lawsuit? This last one was dismissed already. Right. If her, okay. If her attorney gets it done, yeah. They have it internally. Oh. My personal feelings and anything that happened to my channel aside. So we can still talk about right. chaos or at least have an open dialogue for when we do need to come together. At this particular time, I had the MIB. The MIB is being attacked. Right? That's a channel that's strictly for chaos. It's been taken down more times than anything. People record, people report. I know it's motherfuckers that I talk to doing that shit too. You know, if you think that I don't know that, I know that. I know it's motherfuckers that I talk to, even donate to or whatever, is helping taking down the me of every chance they get. I know that. They say Free R. Kelly is still reporting the me. It's all about people not wanting to see growth right so i'm gonna do the opposite i'm gonna beat that type of energy with support i'm gonna kill it with kindness right until i can't do it no more and i've always said on these internet streets and it doesn't and, and it's not just to me i told kwame told everybody at one o'clock you friends at two o'clock you enemies one minute you could be cool with a motherfucker and at the flip of a dime you don't know what happened and now y'all beefing that's how shit quick this shit happened i've seen motherfuckers fall out watching the live stream and it was so quick i couldn't even pinpoint why the fuck the fallout happened you get what i'm saying i don't play games I don't side. I'm not friends with the ops. I don't talk to them. Have
have no communication with them. They are not allowed on my channel. I don't do none of that. So at that particular time, some emails, some text messages came out. Right? And this is where I, this is another part where I owe y'all apology because I should have said something and addressed it. Didn't do it. Just let it let it go. Can't address every fucking thing. Let it fucking go. So infamous, you was reading the text messages. She did a breakdown. Right? She did a breakdown on it. She was doing a breakdown on the text messages. It was a, it's a pretty good breakdown and stuff like that. But what I had a problem with at the time, and that's why I was really going on this old cove shit, is that she used a breakdown from Larry. So I kept pushing the go along, get along thing. Close that blinds for me. I kept pushing the go along, get along thing. Hand me something to drink because I need something for my throat. Because I'm just sick and tired of this bullshit. So when I leave <laughs> out of here, I'm going to leave gracefully and I'm going to leave and tell what I know or what I can think of. I can't think of everything because it's been four, five years, y'all. So if she come out after this or whatever, I guess I can address accordingly. But I'm going to I'm There's address a message it in here. Uh, the okay, last that's what I wanted to play. This, right? So but you got I, a good I message in here. I mean, I, maybe the application. But I did have a feeling like, wrong. why would you use an ops breakdown? Why would you use anything? I was breakdown. I didn't. I didn't say anything about it. As a matter of fact, I wanted to to um, bring attention. I went over to the mid for a while because I wanted to take attention off of that and put it on R. Kelly. But there's nothing that the op can say pertaining to this R. Kelly situation. When it comes to the channel split, there's nothing, nothing. When I I don't go at Tasha K because I don't like her. That's not why I go at her. And if she watching, I'ma let you know. That's not why the fuck I don't go at you. I don't. I go at you when you got a man's freedom and you knew you been had and you not woman enough to address it. Let me see. Just something. like every last blogger on here ain't a motherfucker solid on this bitch. So let me say this because I, I I heard this. Okay. Um, I think that was some kind of caption from Lady D, and then I don't understand this, right? Because okay, apparently, apparently, you know, I I. Yeah, <laughs> Just our thoughts and how we act and stuff. We we just we just fucked up. We just some fucked up individuals. I, I, I'm serious. Some more than others. Okay, listen. Cause because when you start when you, when you start placing blame and stuff like that, where it really that where you shouldn't to me. You your your support either for or against is already fucked up. It's already gonna come out wrong. You're not gonna accurately support nobody. Hey, stop with the bullshit. How in the hell is Tasha K responsible for R. Kelly being in prison? I'm trying to see where what, what role she played. She did like everybody else, got interviews with the people that came to her. That's what she did. She interviewed, put the story out. She may or may not have went to uh Chicago or whatever. But prior to that, she didn't know none of them um, ladies in that goddamn case. The people that's responsible for him being where he is is one him and the rest of the people that took the stand against him. That's it.
That's it. So I don't understand none of this. I really don't. I hope, like, when you, whoever you raise them, whatever, you you guys, maybe y'all got one set of rules for this bullshit and another set of rules for your kids. We don't get down like that. Your ass did it, your ass did it. You're going to get it or you're not. We don't be like, oh, well, you know, or uh, uh, somebody else responsible, somebody caused me. Oh, my God. And see, this is the problem. This is the problem. This is why we breed so many bitch-ass niggas in, in this world. I have a problem with them. Okay. Now I know, and I, I, listen, I told y'all, I had adapted to y'all motherfuckers. I edit, edit myself, and I kind of, you know, just became just social with you motherfuckers, whatever. But I can't stand a bitch ass nigga. Oh my God. My friends will tell you. Oh, a bitch ass nigga would make me do a cartwheels on an empty stomach. I'm trying to tell you that don't even make no motherfucking sense. But you get the picture. I can't stand a bitch ass nigga. Whew, Lord, Anna Liar. The list goes on. You know, I got a pet a list of pet peeves, but you know, those are my, those are the top five. A bitch ass nigga. My face, it, I just get disgusted. <laughs> I can't stand it. Right. Because it for me, it just wreaks weakness. Like, why the fuck are you so weak? I'm going to hit they motherfucking ass with something. What a vat. Ooh, a can of goddamn green peas. Shit. <laughs> I can't stand ass. I'm serious. And I have seen over and over and over and over again how women just take it easier on them boys and be like oh they grow up to be such the weakest bitch ass niggas on on this planet i be like oh my gosh i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't not to bring nobody up i'm just gonna give a prime example okay when i was a uh, social to fat boy now if he if he tells the truth or whatever we do a timeline i'm when I notified him that he was a bitch ass nigga, shit went down here from there. <laughs> Not trying to start no shit, but I'm just telling you, I that shit turned my stomach. I'll be like, hell no, nah, this ain't going to work out for me. I ain't got the clown with you. I ain't got the cuss you out. I ain't got to go back and forth, whatever. I ain't got to, you know, but in my head, on your tombstone should be here lies a big chance nigga from whatever date to whatever date okay here lies his bitch ass i don't see how you do it i can be a bitch ass female it'll keep me up all night bitch ass punk ass shit like striking out uh -uh. Mm, nope I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I, I couldn't do it. Let me stop because I'll be on here all night talking about bitch ass people. That shit really irks my goddamn nerves, honey. It breaks my constitution down. Y'all don't stand for shit. So since you, if he got to sit up there and be in jail, I would just go ahead and acknowledge and your hypocrisy and everything on here until you can stand. And I hey, got Patrick. without Cardi B's apology, with a thorough one, without the subliminals. So I don't fuck with oppositions. When it, when this man in jail and not supposed to be a support system, I don't do it. Why it, will I do that? People say, well, you need to fuck with them because you need to know what the enemy holds. No, I don't. I don't need to know what the fuck they doing. What I need to do is get the message out here to the people about the injustice that this man is facing. And then we was doing good about getting the transcripts out here and the court documents out here. But then I found out that the court documents was given to the opposition by the person who's supposed to be a supporter. Mm -hmm. I'm finding all this shit. I'm like, I'm getting a little twitch in my neck.
Y'all told me, bitch, that things. I didn't know that it was gay, anything to the ops or Ocos. I didn't know none of that. When, when Sylvia gave anything to, that's crazy. Okay, that's crazy as hell. Now, I don't know what, I doubt that's serious. Because, think about this. Before Larry went to prison, they were on, and then while he was in prison, Sylvia was firing his ass up. So, no, I I don't believe no shit like that. If Larry got some transcripts, the most likely person he's got it from is Atmos and Diva. Remember, they were buying, getting transcripts too. Keller, me, all this was in it. What, what, what is going on? Come on now. Common sense. This is shit I don't like, y'all, what y'all do. When y'all don't like a motherfucker, Oh, baby, y'all hot mouth and fire their ass up with all kind of bullshit. Yeah. And if Larry needed a goddamn transcript, I could have gave it to him. What the fuck is what? Think. Common sense think. That's crazy. If somebody needed a motherfucking document, whatever, I'm good on all sides. I don't give a fuck. I ain't got nothing to do with this shit. They can hit me. They've hit, they have hit me. And vice versa. We don't give a fuck. Oh, that's, too, that's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I, I I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> Support don't require all of that. But there's some messages in here that that I like that spins probably delivered out. Especially, you know, I summed it up. But picking your mother, getting your friends off YouTube, I'm telling you, you shouldn't do that, and you definitely shouldn't buy your draws off Wish. I don't like, I, I just don't like that extra stuff. And the thing about it is, y'all don't know how to be quiet. Y'all talk too much. Y'all know I got a story coming. I got one no good nigga at the University of Florida. Let me tell you. From the span we was together, and we was off for a minute, right? You know, and then we weren't you know, friends and nothing like that. I told you that one day, that nigga had done lied on me so much in these motherfucking streets. Jackson was a big place. I know everybody. He know a lot of people. I'm fine out. Especially when I'm still close to your family, but fuck that. People that I still know still fuck with y'all. It's that weird, non-traditional family thing, right? <laughs> and that nigga had the heat fuck around and went to the went to the jail. Got the cops called on to run his name, but he got warrants. He blames the motherfucking shit on me. Huh? Are you kidding me? I'm looking crazy. Like, what? <laughs> I see. So, baby, by this time, I'm hot, hot mad. You know, and after, before that, he done went to FSU, the dude that went to FSU and, and then told him some bullshit. And I, I, I fucked around and hot mouth the FSU guy. I did. <laughs> but, Universal Florida turned around and hot mouth my ass. <laughs> hey, I was talking. I shouldn't have been. I'll tell you that. And um, it's a hot mouth situation, baby. <laughs> so, so listen, I was I was so oh my gosh, I was so fucking mad. 
That nigga called me at my job one day. Hey, uh huh. You know, uh, I'm in the hospital. I've been on here for about three months. Three months? Yeah. I, I want to know if you're going to come see me. Nope. Like, what? You going to call? He said, but such, such, such. I'm like, I don't care. And let me tell you, the hospital was right between my job and the house. I didn't give a fuck. too goddamn much and all that hot mouthing and trying to make people look bad and stuff like that baby that was sour with me when i tell you when i tell you i when I, I got some bullets with my initials in them just for some of you motherfuckers around here with that bullshit but they want you to be quiet i don't get that no shut the fuck up that's all you have to do is go on with your life all that extra shit See, when they start mudding up the names and dirt up the names and all that type of shit, that's when it kind of seems like you're jealous. Because you ain't got to do all of that. All you got to do, if, if Dennis and Sylvia and whomever and Spirit what they part in ways, just shut up and part fucking ways. Just go to your separate way. Whatever happened, happened. Shut the fuck up. No, you got to... Oh, I got to make myself look better than this person. Blah, 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 and be lying. And making up shit. Shit don't make sense. Run through logic. But they know that we're in an area where people are not logical or illogical. And, you know, and their character is heavily flawed. So y'all believe the bullshit. So, you know, whatever. But well, god damn. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Uh yeah, that's the truth. That's the true part of it. But I'm talking about the transcripts. Like that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yep, she did. Right, right. They don't, you don't have the job together. You got to be besties and and shit like that. And listen, I mean, I, this would be this would like I would wouldn't have a probably wouldn't have a friend nowhere. Now, granted, most of them, when we talking about character wise, you know, we kind of in line with each other. But outside of that, we got some you know some different interests interest right that's fine shit hell i mean i'll put their ass out my house if they like michael jackson and biggie i'd be looking at them strange though <laughs> like what the fuck is wrong with you oh my gosh this is so sad i just want them to get it together that shit why would that happen then I'm thinking maybe that what didn't happen. Then I see all the breakdowns I've done. I've been on your channel. You go get Larry's. I should have said something as outspoken as I am. I hid that or tried to shadow that and all that. Then they try to make it seem like it's okay to be cool, not when this man is incarcerated. You can be cool with anybody else. I'm not going to be cool with people that cause this man incarceration knowing that these parents are free. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Ben Bay is a control freak. I said that before. I ain't noticed that until Choke came in, into the sector. Well, I knew a little bit because she was saying how Levi and, and, and Dana did pick up pick Larry over her. And it didn't go even go down like that. You can't get nobody no ultimatum. You can't act like 
you know, that you got to, that somebody got to pick and choose who to deal with. Why they can't deal with all you motherfuckers? But well, in a different way. I don't like that. That's my main um, bone of contention with her. That shit, that, that line of bullshit. I mean, she'll make a good gang member. God damn. I don't like all that. I wish they would. Because this is crazy. This is crazy. Because this is a long battle ahead with this dude. You know, I ain't no support of nobody. And I don't like, because see, it just keeps yours. When y'all, but when y'all get into all this bullshit, your support, it divides again. And it's divided again. And, it's, and after a while, there ain't going to be nobody on this motherfucker supporting them but uh, Debo. <laughs> I'm solid in this shit. I'm, I don't waver. I don't bark my box to the beat of my own drum. I'm a one roll person. I'm, I'm solid. I'm focused. So I wanted people to be focused. That was the same. Then people say, well, we was trying to tell you about her. We was trying to do this. No, y'all told me about her when y'all fell out. When y'all didn't like. But the, they did. The, and then the thing of it is, yesterday and what all took place the last couple of days the very thing that they were mad at dana about that he did do himself they did it too so i had to really analyze everything this morning they all were together ding dong that's what i said to myself i said self with your ding dong ass they were all together initially so when people coming over here saying dana's this way or Sylvia this way, you got to remember initially they were all together. They were all together doing the shit that they were doing until they had a falling out. Ain't no honor among things when you ain't doing right. Ain't no honor among things when they was doing right. They were looking up people. They were doxing people. They were doing all this and all that. You ain't never seen this damn channel spitting fire get involved in that bullshit. I don't give a fuck about y'all family life. I don't give a fuck about who doing what, where you live. I don't give a fuck. What part of don't give a fuck about y'all, y'all don't get? <laughs> I don't give, you ain't where, I don't get, to, I, uh, <laughs> <sighs> so I don't get down with that bullshit. I don't give a fuck what you saying on the phone. I don't give a fuck what you playing. I'm not putting your ass in my fucking uh, memory. I'm not, she asked me a few weeks ago, you recording this motherfucker? I don't record. You would never, ever be in my memory. My memory is for memories of me and my goddamn family. <laughs> I'm not a dirty motherfucker. I'm a solid motherfucker. <laughs> I guess this. But when you solid and you clean and you walk a straight and narrow road, dirty motherfuckers think that way. Yep. Whether they pray, whether they do this, whether they do that, they think that way. Mm -hmm. I told y'all, they can play all the fucking recordings they want to of me. So, what am <laughs> I supposed to do? <laughs> if I thought that we was a group of people in 19 and 20 coming together for this man, I've been had too. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> all the motherfuckers was together. I don't want nobody who hating Sylvia coming over here. I don't want nobody who hating Dana coming over here. Y'all all stay y'all messy asses over there because y'all all was together. Y'all all was together. There's no way in the fuck somebody from Oko should be coming at me in a supporter channel and you don't check them. That was in Randa's chat. See, <laughs> Spitting fire and everything. We do not run our channels based upon Queen spitting fire. Like, what the fuck is going on? 
Nobody's going to run that shit like that. No sector. Nobody give a fuck about all that. You bring your ass up into somebody's channel. You enter at your own risk. That's it. Now, if you got that, you know, lollipop rules and shit like that, that's fine. But everybody's not going to do that. Like, oh, don't blocks been fire. What the fuck is kind of shit is this now? Uh-uh. When I tell you y'all, y'all ain't never got to worry about me. Unless they, you remember I implemented that. Now, you need special mother, and I'm just being sorry. Cassie doing that. If you need special, whatever, anything special, special attention, special security, special privileges, special, you don't have to pay. You know, I was just fucking around. But y'all, y'all ain't gonna never got to worry about me putting no pressure on nobody like that. Because I'm thinking we all grown and you can stand on your own. And you have the swing and bang in the chat, that's what it is. I don't allow that blocking. I don't say don't block until I take the block. Unless you just unless you know blockable offenses and shit. I don't I don't do all that cow. You come in and fire my ass up. I don't give a fuck. I get your ass back. And then I block you. Shit. Yes. Well, honey, I this shit him was so funny, girl. She is traumatized. She like me. She is traumatized. She need to do a video of the people that's traumatized and put my face up there and her face up there and add people lit to it. That, that ain't never supposed to fucking happen. Y'all don't have loyalty. You don't know shit. So, since y'all move like that, I don't move like that. I don't fucking move like that. I don't give a damn if I am cordial with you. You don't come over on my chat if I'm a supporter and attack a supporter. Y'all got the game all fucked up. You don't know shit, but let me tell you something. You can make a laugh all night talking about me. You can do whatever you want to do. But I don't never want to see you motherfuckers again <laughs> talk to you on these binaries. I don't want to fuck with none of y'all. Not nobody from Oco, not nobody from the Dream Team, not nobody from the Infamous, not nobody from Randa. I don't want to fuck with none of y'all ever again from the channel of Spitting Fire. Y'all some dirty, rotten motherfuckers. Y'all don't mean shit. Y'all don't know no loyalty. Keep my fat ass out your mouth. You can call me names over there on your chat on your channel all by your lonely i don't give a damn because the one thing a motherfucker can say i rode the same motherfucking pathway forever mm. until i ain't had no reason to till i ain't had no reason to and to sit up there and try to smear my name with jealousy and all this and that when i was right all along and you motherfuckers get mad when i get right but you can't come back and apologize for being wrong like mm. I am to the people today. You can't come back and apologize because your ego won't let you. The ego that you think you got. There's a lot of apologies to be had and motherfuckers couldn't do it. But I tell you what, subscribers. Today... I owe you all the apology for all the things I didn't say to you that should have been brought to the front for, uh, forefront. Okay. <laughs> she is traumatized. <laughs> she sounds just like me. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Fire like fuck this hell. And I'm not, you know, and 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 I'm not, I'm using that message as a blanket message, whatever, not just applying it to the situation she's talking about, whatever. I'm just talking about like this shit and him, you would be traumatized. You understand what I'm saying? And um and I don't know. 
you know, if they'll get through it or what have you, whatever. Let me, was it something else I wanted to hear in this? Hold on, let me see. And your support for R. Kelly. And I hope that if you are a true supporter, not the fake shit starting young ones, the dumb ones, the all this bullshit, not them. Keep your asses over there and be messy. But the real season supporters, I let you down when I wavered my own personal thoughts and no to put on a facade for chaos that I thought that was helping because it was already tainted. Do you get so I don't know if it's some more now, but but anyway. Y'all see what happens when a bunch of I don't know what the fuck to call this in a motherfucking place no more. It's not a sector, it's a zoo. Okay. And what's in a zoo? Fucking out. And what happens is is the shit just even with the side that's against them. Here you go. Here's some shit break loose. Now you're divided. Some shit break loose again. Now that's divided. Divided, divided. And it's what it whittles down. You don't see the same people around no more. Nobody is um excited to bring the news anymore. Oh, I, I just get excited about reading the goddamn paper. I don't give a fuck if it's good or bad. I just read it, you know. Um, you don't have that passion, right? That, that y'all used to have on either side. You just don't have it because it, it's because it, what happened was you guys promoted all the fuck shit artists, and you take off after them. All right, wow. Because see, in my world, fuck shit don't ride. We check that motherfucker at the door, honey. You, it, it, it's totally opposite. If you coming in on fuck shit, on messiness, on hot mouthing, mouthing, on exposing, on all that kind of shit, you getting the fuck up out of him. Oh, you getting the fuck up out of him, baby, quick. Met, oh, devil shit and all that type. Oh, you getting your ass about it, him. You motherfuckers embrace them types. I don't know. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. This some craziness, right? Man, anyway, um, I got to put the link in the chat. What's up, Candy? What's up, Candy? Yeah, I mean, this is some crazy shit. It's some crazy, cray cray shit. Like, you know, like, what the fuck is this about? And some people, I don't know. You an elevated fan? You will stand? I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I hate to see them, you know, them two edit or whatever because it's just it's tiresome see y'all don't get a chance to go through it right some of you guys get picked on at the chat right <laughs> some crazy motherfuckers well you know you know screenshot your ass and just pick that listen i'm telling you you ain't got to take it from me. You don't have to take it from me. But you motherfuckers that has an advanced degree and bullshit and crazy motherfuckers and all that type of shit, you know I ain't lying. Just sit back and listen and look. You can't even type shit in the chat. <laughs> you can't even be in somebody's chat. Like, what the fuck is this about? Yeah. 
and they be talking that I'm trying to tell you, they be talking that hot shit behind the scenes or whatever. But I promise you, he'll listen. I'm moving into the spirit of nasty Angie, so y'all gotta bear with me. She comes and goes. She comes and goes. I don't know if I, I don't know if it's coming enough where another prayer is needed. I don't know. I just got to wait and see. <laughs> listen, say that shit direct. Say that shit direct. I'm telling you, I will drag you motherfuckers through this motherfucker. If you won't have a lace front or motherfucking ass or shoe or left on your motherfucking body, when I get finished, your motherfucking ass better back the fuck up. So anyway, <laughs> y'all have to get out. Y'all, I have to get it out from time to time because y'all don't get attacked. Y'all don't get attacked. And I'm, I'm, listen, I'm one of the most peaceful people. Listen, it, I am not know like, listen, have fucking fun. I keep people laughing. I don't take my, you know, myself that serious. Although I'm a serious person, I don't take myself that serious. I take people on my journey. I do all that type of shit. I have a whole life outside this. I'm the same way off here. As I am on here, I've been given round the clock, goddamn. Uh, I got a whole charity dedicated to giving. You know what inspired that charity? You know what? When I got sick, um, over a decade ago, and the random act of kindness that people was doing. You know what I did? As I sat there in that motherfucking hospital, you know what I did? I put a thought in my head because I said. You know, I'm um, giving. You know, I was giving. Don't get me wrong. I was giving, right? I said, there are some things that I want to attack more, right? And I'm already volunteering with rehabilitation and judicial reform, right? I'm already doing that. So, and I see some some of, and, and, and for the most part, I didn't really personally witness some inhumane things, but I've heard about them in other you know other um facilities right that so when when the when the the people come the the, the people that work at facilities that are very that, that are really interested in in rehabilitation and and shit like that when they come to the meetings and shit like that would they uh but anyway y'all know how to go if y'all done work to the people whatever so anyway, so so I will, I'll, you know, so I looked at that, and then I said, okay, damn, I can inst- I can wrap wrap this up in my charity. I can institute something for veterans, institute something for homeless, institute something for blase prisons, different different little different things, right? My I was laying up in in my hospital bed, worrying about other people, cause strangers was calling me. People were seeing my child like, you know, it was just crazy, right? So, 24-7, around the clock. And we funded 24-7 motherfucking fundraisers. Okay? And, of course, during this time of the year and Thanksgiving and, and, and um, New Year, Thanksgiving, Christmas and Easter, you know, are our biggest times, right? But, you know, still, right? Um, and shout out to anybody that's, that's, that has it on their heart to give somebody. Listen, if y'all ain't, y'all don't have a way to so be a major player in support, listen, if you passing somebody on the street that look like they may need something, hell, get ass five dollars or something like that. You know, get your support in any way you can, anytime you can, okay? I am a stickler about that. And I come from a family that was all into all kinds of shit, you know, that type of stuff. So and that's just so who I am on here. That's, but but I have to say, I, I kind of surprised myself because I was a lot 
a lot more tolerant and I did allow people, different all kinds of people in my space and stuff like that. And I don't allow those type of people in my space offline. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, that's why I'm I don't be in shit. I don't have people that I can't trust or all that type of shit. As much as I can I'm gonna trust somebody. You know what I'm saying? And they already know how I am, right? That's why I was telling um I told um, Open, I said, don't do nothing to me. Because, listen, um, this is a lot. This is around this time of year. I don't know why forgiveness goes up so <laughs> so high on the charts, right? Which it should be a, a year-round thing. But for some reason, this time of the year, forgiveness is just up there, right? And I get it, right? Um, you can hit all on tv program is everywhere right and and that's fine right because what better time to do it right it, it'll tie into something it's sentimental you know you got all that shit going on right well here's the thing right you know what i had to deal with and and certain things you have to um look at yourself right and this is the education of you right and you can call i call it the education of me you can call it whatever interest but you call it whatever the fuck you want to call it but i'm just telling about me right um before right i used to say and i knew i was telling a lie when i was saying this and then it has been some years now that i just tell the truth about it i tell this lie i say i forgive you but i don't forget i'm lying i was lying that whole time i was lying I ain't gonna never forgive you, and I'm damn sure ain't gonna forget. Okay, and that's just it. Now I don't know how this gonna work with the Lord or nothing like this. Now I don't know. Okay, but He already knows that. So what? No sense of me lying. I was been I was lying the whole time. Yeah, that's why I was telling you don't just don't do nothing. Don't never do nothing to me. Please don't. I, I ain't talking about like little little bullshit. I'm talking about somewhere like I'm sitting here like 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 case in point, right? Where it's like now although and this might be maybe I don't know what I'm gonna need about this. This don't mean I'm evil or none of that. Because I know I'm not evil. I haven't seen evil. I'm like, ooh, baby, two fingers to the what sky. Peace, honey. But listen, I like like the motherfuckers done done something to me. Like they take for instance, University of Florida. When University of Florida died that next day, I thought you know got him help or whatever. I ain't shared no till. I ain't shared no till since yet. I you know we used to oh we made some money together. God damn. We have fun, whatever. But that's because I'm I'm not boring. I'm not the boring girlfriend. No, 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 no. Never that. I'm not the boring girlfriend. Okay. But um I'm the interesting one, okay? But and it's like ain't no it, it, I just it wasn't no sense of me kept telling that damn lie. I forgive, but I never forget. How is that when you can't even get an apology out my ass? <laughs> okay, if I get your apology, that means I really, really think that I did something wrong, and I don't, I don't work, I don't work it like that. If I did something wrong and and something like that, yeah. But other than that, she like get your ass, yeah. Uh, that's just I, I don't know you can't that, that ain't no evil shit or whatever because i don't have an evil, evil bone in my goddamn body i'm just saying my thing is i try my best not to do shit wrong to people i don't understand why you can't do the same fucking thing i don't get that hold on let me pin this link just in case i don't get that 
I go go out my way not to try to do no fuck shit to people. These motherfuckers wake up trying to think I have to do fuck shit to you. How does that work? And for that, you forever on my motherfucking shit list. I don't give a fuck. They throw dirt on your face tomorrow. And that don't mean, because see, I'm normal. And I'm I'm not crazy, but that don't mean I got to beef and cuss your ass out every day or whatever, or whatever. But baby, it's two fingers to the sky. What? Whoa. Hold on. So, but yeah. So I don't be, and I, I don't know. I don't. I hope. I know that. That ain't no evil thing because I would feel some kind of evil shit in my body. I'm not evil. And listen, with me, my words and my actions match. They they never contradict each other. So I don't know why the fuck. I you know, and I was I knew all the damn time I was lying. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying like a motherfucker. I'm telling you right now, you could choke right now. I don't give a fuck because <laughs> it's unnecessary. I don't like unnecessary bullshit. I don't like unprovoked bullshit. I know I did shit to your ass. Or not to no magnitude of your the bullshit. Mm-mm. Hell no. You know, and I know how to, you know, be cordial and whatever because I like to keep the peace. Well, if you ask me how I feel, I'm going to tell you. You can run your head into a brick wall right now. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's just how it is. Get the fuck on. I don't give a fuck. The fuck I care for. So that's why I be trying to tell people, don't do nothing to me. <laughs> Cause I don't never get over it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And then you got some people would do something to you and keep doing it. Could be the same shit, it could be the different shit. And then you they wonder why you sitting up there. A shine, uh, 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 shining off your mouth on a pistol. Yeah. Now with with the event in our spats or the spats I've had with my friends, I've had you know that, that I've been friends with for decades. This is how we work this, okay? Because <laughs> I told you now there is a caveat to it. If you are worth it. Then I can see if it can work, but baby, it's gonna be with some kind of goddamn with my head leaning to the side looking at you, okay? All right, and it's it's gonna chip a little. Something's gonna chip away each time. What usually happens is like many vet used to get into it, whatever. I won't talk to that ass for years, and then something that happened in the in either one of our families either death or baby or some shit like that whatever and then because she's family we get it it's it's all together other than that and i think she is mad at me now like that made it real bad because i didn't know her cousin sabrina had died and when I went to look over, open my, you know, my regular social media and shit like that, whatever, I saw the message from a, you know, a mutual or really her friend, but and she kind of my friend, I guess, I don't know, that um the girl had died or whatever. And by that time, it was like I was like, oh my god, you know, but I didn't know. Right then, you know, when the girl, because I looked at the message, she said. Yvette say tell and Sabrina that and see it was two little cousins right it was Sheila and Sabrina Sheila died first Sheila was closer to Yvette right then Sabrina then Sabrina died whatever Sabrina was I mean she was closer to of course to her cousin Yvette but she was kind of more of a of a me type person right and um yeah well you, you know listen you know i guess some not tonight but you know i get somebody on the phone that would talk about it <laughs> my friend um oh so let me tell you so you ever heard when my friend tim talks about 
how we plotted on his ass. Yvette was stalking him, and then she sent Sabrina and I to lay the trap for his ass. Yeah, that so that's how he met Sabrina, right? Uh -huh. But um, yeah, but y'all, I'm serious. Um, I don't know about I. I I don't know if there's any kind of help. You know, you can go to counseling for all other kinds. Of, I don't know if you can go to counseling about the about no forgiveness. You have to go to our young love, whatever. <laughs> Seems like you got to go to talk to her, and you got to have the other parties in there. Baby, the room be loaded up. I mean, mm -mm. now young baby, give me child. Let me take my shoes off. I'm gonna go work. I'm gonna go to work on these motherfuckers, huh? Okay, give me a boxing ring. I'm serious. I ain't you no know, use to me even fronting like that. I can kiki key, you know, whatever with your motherfucking ass. But I'm gonna still feel the same. Now, if you do one thing and time pass, and you even do shit else, then maybe, you know, I'll get, you know, we'll. I feel, you know, a lot better about you. That has happened. Because listen, I'm going to tell you. When policeman got, you know, got off that, that um goddamn scald, started acting like he had some sense whatever, and I did all that apologizing and all that stuff, you know. Um, well, okay, I take it back. He hadn't completely gotten off it. He had slowed up. Then he went back. And then, you know, but when he had slowed up, he went to apologize and stuff like that. Yeah, so not this last time when he's like on medication for it. But, mm, 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 mm. There ain't no use to me even front. See, some of y'all, I want to catch somewhere, okay? And see what's real was really good. See, we can that mouth motherfucking handle it. See what see what we're gonna do. Yeah, that's what I really want to do. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> In the spirit of spitting fire, because she was so honest. Honey, I holler. She is traumatized. I was hollering. That shit was so damn funny. She is hurt. But yeah, yeah. Dude. Fuck that. That one went, um, sound like she done seen a ghost. But I don't see how y'all do it. And, I, and I'm and i thinking you don't do it. Because I'm thinking the way you motherfuckers act on here is the way y'all will fly in real life. Gotta be. Got to be. Mm-hmm. And who get mad at other people because their life, I, I don't get it. I, I, I'm still traumatized of how somebody is mad over my goddamn stories. I don't understand. I don't understand. You be like, well, I got a whole bunch of bad ones too. Want to hear those? I'm like, I share about my family to show you to see how you know how they do or whatever. Hate me more. I'm like, well, goddamn. And and just so you know, I don't give a damn about y'all hating me. I really don't. <laughs> it's either, hey, guess what? That's that's it should be that way. You should have a problem with me. Yeah. If I was you, I would have a problem with me too. Shit. Mm -mm. Cause I know better people. My God. I made no goddamn sense. And then, and then here's the thing, right? So, I don't know which part of what telling the truth, who's telling the truth about what, what part, right? But when I start to hear comparisons, and all of that that type of stuff 
then it does indicate that there is some kind of jealousy. Maybe you don't know that you're jealous. Maybe you don't have jealousy awareness. Maybe you don't have that in your town. You ain't look on the calendar and saw it was jealousy awareness week. So maybe you don't know what that is. Okay. But well, that's what it is. When you start comparing yourself. So then it's talking about she's not this. I'm having this. Da, 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 da. See, that's why mm -mm, I don't like no help. Mm -mm. Nope. Help from the right people. Yeah. Help from motherfuckers around here. No, that's all right. It's crazy. He was almost acting like he's responsible for Sylvia's goddamn, you know, whatever. He was like, in, you know, these cases that they were, I mean, I didn't know that their relationship, they, they were working on cases like that together. I mean, you know, a lot of city be on, when I be on, the only thing I know how to do is R. Kelly, the YSL, she's on Ernesto. I ain't seen Mr. Dennis do that much on his, his YouTube. Twitter is just a blip. So is does he have another? I mean, ask y'all, does he have another place? Where he is broadcasting this stuff from me because he called it a he said his show. I ain't seen him with no show. Now, if I'm wrong, I stand to be corrected. But I ain't seen him with no show. I ain't seen no show. Uh -uh. I really haven't. So if y'all know what his location for his show is, let me know. I'm gonna go find. I'm gonna try to find it, cause I wanna know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's working on. I think I follow him on Twitter. And see, again, right, y'all don't get to get all this blowback and all this bullshit and all this stuff from these crazy-ass people. We do. This was the worst idea ever. Okay? <laughs> I regret it. I regret it. <laughs> I wish... <laughs> I, I wait a minute. This spin five said the part where she wish she ain't never met some. I ain't hear that part, so it must be some more. I feel the same way, girl. I'm telling you. Oh if my you god. There's no excuse, but I hope you guys can accept my apology from that. I should have never ever, and I thought, I thought that these people were genuine. <laughs> I thought these people were real. I thought these people were uh supporters. I did I did not think that these people were the way that they were. <laughs> Okay, I did not think that this is the second time this happened with the attack on me. Even when I had interview R. Kelly, it was a big ass attack on me. It won't happen again because I will burn out. That's why I'm cussing all motherfuckers out today. It won't happen again. You won't sign you. You they side um got me last time because I thought everything was gonna be good. I was gonna do a surprise and I had to scare. I was so goddamn blindsided with the type of energy I was bought with back then. But it won't happen again because I won't fuck with them again. And when I mean it, I mean it. Don't say my motherfucking name, you dirty motherfuckers. You ain't shit. You ain't gonna never be shit. And y'all is dirty. Y'all blind. And see, y'all got the nerve. The reason why y'all fight with each other, because y'all all do the dirty shit together. And when then, when y'all fall out with each other, then y'all know how each other get down. I don't rock like that. I don't roll like that. I ain't, I ain't, I'm just a big mouth motherfucker on here talking my goddamn shit and bringing the truth to the people. You motherfuckers dirty. Y'all ain't shit. Now, I don't know about people being scammers. I don't know about none of that bullshit. But I tried to support people on this motherfucker to only be met with disrespect. That's why I don't support some channels no more. Y'all dis 
fucking respect. <laughs> Stay the fuck away from me. Don't even troll my motherfucking truck. Matter of fact, have a funeral for the damn spin fire channel on the channel spin fire for fucking with y'all. Cause y'all don't fuck with me no more. That's what you do. Put me in the dead zone. <laughs> When it come to y'all, because I don't want to fuck with y'all no more. Oh. I really don't. I really don't. You can't say shit. You can't apologize. You can't do a mother. You can't send a text message. You can't do shit to me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Them motherfuckers ain't no good. They some dirty motherfuckers. They ain't going to never be shit. They ain't going to never amount to shit. And I don't give a damn. If you motherfuckers rock with them goddamn people, don't you bring your ass up here. You are not to mention none of them motherfucking people in my chat. I mean it. None of them motherfucking people in my chat. All of the day ones and everything, y'all divide and everything, that's fine. Y'all go over there, go over there. If y'all die with them, stay away. I don't, because I don't want the algorithm. <laughs> If I if I don't want the algorithm of they chat popping up in my feed, that's how much disassociation I want. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to fuck with none of y'all no more. <laughs> I don't want to fuck with none of y'all no more because you are liars. <laughs> you are liars. Girl, where have you been? I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> oh my gosh, honey. That shit was so goddamn funny. Been fight is traumatized. <laughs> I gotta give y'all a link to it. Oh my gosh, honey. I hollered. She is over it. Over it. She over it. I don't know. And see, when they take down the videos, I can't keep up. I don't know what the hell done happened, who done said what or whatever. But people, please, god damn. Oh my gosh, can we have peace for one, just for one week? Can, can we have that? God damn. This don't make no damn sense. I got a crazy motherfucker who spends her life on me. I'm her life. This is cra This is sick. I don't even know nobody like that in my real life. They spend their life on me. And I don't think that shit cute. Oh, uh, oh, uh, you know, like, oh, I got me a little fan. No, I think that shit is lifetime worthy. Do we pick up little sayings from each other? Yes, that I'm not talking about. I'm talking about a motherfucker that is basing her life. I mean, every week. I... <laughs> Bitch. Shit like that. Stop picking up these motherfucking strays and shit off this YouTube. In this sector. It ain't gonna end well for you. You're gonna sound like her. Huh? Girl. Mm -mm. Hold on. That shit was so goddamn funny. You do underhanded, dirty shit. You are liars. <laughs> and some of you old motherfuckers listen to these young heads getting y'all fucked up and shit. Getting you caught up in shit and getting you cussed out today. <laughs> Listening to them. Being an old dummy. I'm not dealing with that no more. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about y'all goddamn uh, talking shit about me. Because you know what? Old Cole did it five years ago. They ain't did shit but make my fat ass skin thick. So y'all talking about me don't mean a motherfucking thing. Because the dragon has spoke. 
Keep your lying asses, fake asses, motherfucking dirty asses over there. Mm. I don't give a damn how young he is, how pretty he is. You're still a dirty motherfucker. Mm, 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 mm. I want y'all gone. <laughs> I can advocate for this man and talk my shit myself. I don't want to deal with y'all. Y'all ain't shit. Infamous, you ain't got to never worry about me coming over there on your motherfucking channel ever again. Mm. Ever motherfucking again. You ain't got to never worry about me. Don't ever don't pray for me. Don't ever pray for me. This if sad. I'm in a car accident, God forbid, it, don't pray for me. I, uh, I want nothing but genuine folks. I have my family pray for me. They love me. I want <laughs> those who love me to pray for me. Don't pray for me. I don't want you to do shit. You don't know me. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe for all my channels like I did yours, like I did Randa's, like I did Dana's. Unsubscribe. All y'all go back together. Y'all need to actually, y'all need to sit up there and kumbaya and make up. Because the very same goddamn thing y'all was claiming Dana was doing, y'all was doing it. But then original, originally, y'all was doing it together. <laughs> no wonder when you take up for somebody, they can turn on you and go against you. No motherfucking wonder. Y'all uh, you, can talk all that shit about that boy. Y'all y'all ain't no better. Y'all just do it more pretty. Y'all ain't no motherfucking better. Y'all just do it more motherfucking pretty. You're just prettier than him. That's all. You're just prettier than him. You just do it with makeup on. And with heels and with titties. That's it. That's it. You just do it prettier than him. That's all. You're the same goddamn thing. Not, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't no sixes. Y'all ain't no sixes. Shit. Sit up there and got the fuck all that. <laughs> I hate that I even met everybody in this goddamn sector. <laughs> it's so block bender. I cussed that motherfucker out for introducing me to people in this sector. Spicy. Apologize for introducing me to people in this sector. I really do hate that I'm this last couple of days. I really hate that I, I met y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> I really do. I hate that I met y'all motherfuckers. I hate that I had to go from support to fucking hate that I met y'all too. I the know, very same I know, thing I, I felt about Davis the way I feel about y'all. Honey, I know, honey, I know. That's crazy, honey. Cray cray. Hold on. I gotta use the restroom real quick. I gotta find a song. I use the restroom real quick. I've been fucking on a French bitch, say la vie. I just put them on a jet, now they all Italian. Way I'm dressed until I've been to a thousand dollars. This bitch live by getting shots, but she's still a stallion. She don't even get the joke, but she's still smiling. Every night, late night, like I'm Jimmy Fallon. Crow shoot from anywhere, like you Ray Allen. Cody, turn me up. Cody, turn me up. Cody, turn me up. Got a fur on a tampa, got me burning up. Shorty say she graduated, she ain't learned enough. Play the album track one, okay, I heard enough. Girl, to drive it downstairs, better hurry up. Savage got a new stick, you want to dirty up. Touchdown in NY, tear the Mercer up. Hey, both take the shades with the great sense. Introduce me to a nigga, yeah, it makes sense. Got to put her on the team, got a great bench. Licking with the ops, bitch, I did that shit for Jay Prince. Bitch, I did it for the Maltese. Feel like 17, two perks for all guys. And I never been the one to go apologize. Me, I'd rather hit him up one more time. Hey. 
Known a girl for six months, then up at my place. But I got these diamonds on my neck, so it's a blind day. All my niggas on the roads, racing up the crime rate. Your name not ringing out here, it's on vibrate. And she took a skull, now shorty sure got a hydrate. And he did some dirt, now my Cody got a migrate. Probably won't see him for some years when I do, though. Turn me up. Cody, turn me up. Cody, turn me up. Hey, Cody, turn me. Hey, yeah, what? Cody, turn me. What? In the drop top bins like it's old three. Had the shooters aim down from the nose bleed. Gotta get this passport, keep my nose clean. Bitch try to burn me up, keep a man a tuck. Yeah, I never slip. Ever. SF90 rims red like a poker chip. Rich as hell, still hood in the stroke of bill. Pink slip in the glove for the ownership. Limping with the 30 on like a pro hip. Red flag giving blood on some donor shit. All the odds get a bullet on some Oprah shit. Went from Angel Town to States to a bigger state. Probably would have had a zombie on me if I would have stayed. Still a caught a case if I would have stayed. I've been thugging all my life. That's just how I play. Still posted in the A when niggas feel me. Still gotta see the gunners with Premier League. Still gotta keep a gun, it's always near me. And I'm down to hit them up. One more time. Hit my line, you know the hair was great. Oh yeah, alright, don't do romancing. One more time, you gotta run a face. Oh yeah, alright. One more time. Oh Lord, listen, y'all. That shit was so goddamn funny. You know what? I don't know why we think about stupid shit. Do y'all remember? Maybe this ain't bougie to y'all, but to me it is. You remember y'all and your little bougie friends or whatever maybe y'all eat why y'all eat that what that stuff called edamame or whatever with the big white salt i kept promising them i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try i ain't tried it yet because is it cooked <laughs> i don't like to i don't like fucking around shit don't be cooked i don't like doing that edamame with the big old white salt on there Every time you turn here, they go with they little edamame with the goddamn salt. If it ain't that, it's that goddamn sushi. I was like, oh, y'all get on my damn nerves, honey. 
But yeah, do y'all eat that? I got. Let me go get this link to to Spitfire's uh thing. So I don't know shit, but that was funny. And I'm not, you know, definitely. I ain't got nothing to do with whom she is applying that message to. But I just think that she, I feel the same way. Straight up and down, honey. I'm serious. What is this young thug? Attorney gets mad. Hold on. I mean, and then what the hell is Dennis getting mad because Sylvia goes on Tasha K's channel? Like you would think that she was on there talking about um like what the fuck is this about? Here go the video, so make sure y'all go like, share, and subscribe. Here is her video, spitting fire. Yeah, especially I want to hear the rest of it. I thought it was funny as hell. She is scarred. But, um, yeah. So, I don't know y'all how this is going to turn out. Do y'all remember back in the day? I don't know how long y'all been bouncing around these streets. But I looked at my regular profile and it said I signed up in 2012, child. Yes. Do y'all remember when Tasha Kay and, and Dennis was going at it? And what was the deal? Like he was trying to, what, what happened? I forgot. I forgot whose side I sided with. I mean, that's so crazy. I don't know why I'm thinking about this. Because of Lord, have mercy of the spirit. Oh, God. Help me, Lord. Help me. But, you know, this big old melee I'm supposed to have had with Tommy Sotomayor, right? I swear I just let that run. Go ask the man, do he remember getting into it with me? Since it was so big. It rocked the, the, the sector and shit. That's what he remember. Dumbass. <laughs> I'm the set up queen. Mm hmm. All kind of bullshit. Well, that's crazy, though. But y'all got to remember, y'all got to be who y'all, I mean, I, I believe this is, you know, for the most part, this is you motherfuckers on and off here. But for those who aren't this way, or whatever, you got to remember who the fuck you are. Okay. Because this shit here, I had you sound like spitting fire's ass. Although it's funny as fuck. I think, I wonder, how can I get this up? 
So listen. And I want a motherfucker call me a goddamn liar. By any damn thing. But listen, listen to this, right? Look at this. If some of y'all, you just got to, I don't know, stay grounded. I don't know what to tell you. You know who's for who for you. You know who's not. They show it. They tell you. And I'm trying to tell you, their words and their actions, they ain't going to match. They're being dishonest. If they honestly say, listen, I don't like your ass, and their action shows that, then, yep, you can, you know, but they say one thing and do the other. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And if any if anytime you get confused, right? Because this is some crazy shit here. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. The focus ain't he ain't been about that goddamn man in so long, and you guys are easily either side or easily, um, so easily to lose focus on what y'all supposed to be doing. I like, I never got you know, cause you just my folks just wanting genuine about the stuff, or whatever. And I would say, um, I think I don't know if it was the same petition, but I know Spit and Fire had a petition going. I know Sylvia had a petition. So stuff like that, that requires, you know, some type of service, right? That you, you're doing something. You 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 moving forward, you you putting something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and, and I'm not definitely trying to leave nobody out or not. That's so I'm I, y'all all know what Debo and them do. We, you know, we already know that. That's that right there just that's a lot of footwork and extra shit, right? So, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I, I don't know. And it just, oh, it's different kind of shit just fell apart, honey. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you know, I, I have to stay, um, stay focused and how I usually am. I can't be taking breaks and shit. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? You know, my life is on pause right now, you know, because I'm staying focused, whatever. But when I, my life is on play, this sounds crazy, but it's logic to me, okay? Because this is how I do it. When it's on play, I take, you know, breaks, right? I have me, you know, a kiki, whatever. Having a good time. But I was looking because I hadn't been on my real social media in a minute since the other night when I went. And um, showed y'all JT, who, who the guy that I told you that he took his last breath while we on the damn Facebook, and we was all watching that damn finals. And it was Miami. I forgot what they was playing. So I went back today. I said, "Well, let me see." Cause I ain't been active on there. All kind of shit going on. I ain't been acting on that, but I went to go look. And I said, let me see who's still here, right? So let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Now. Talk that shit if you want to. But people lie. Records, receipts, and what? References don't. It's not right here. I don't be on on him, but I ain't going to tell you who's who. But somebody that runs around with Dame Dashes on, these are verified followers, right? Somebody that runs around with Dame Dashes on here. Um, My veteran connections are on here. Um, A charitable connection is on here. And um. You see a lot of, you see white people. And who was that right there? Not with the blue check, but with the what? The gold check. The Miami Heat. Hmm. Follow who? Wow. The organization. That's right. 
So stop playing. Stop. <laughs> I like making them so mad. They're going to be so mad at me, baby. Oh, they're going to be talking behind the scenes. That bitch, these that. Yeah, whatever I was, I was a part here. Oh Lord, yeah. But I'm I'm scrolling like that. But yeah, so stop playing. Get some business. Y'all just talk shit and see people. That's the difference. People that don't talk. Them the ones that really be sitting on it. Them are what they're doing. Yeah, 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 ye
no people or no about i don't know nothing i am like huh <laughs> when i tell you i'm like like if somebody's told me that they were 35 i don't even know that's the truth you understand what i'm saying that's how i'm like spitfire baby i'm trying to figure out right now how to make a dessert out of peanut butter chocolate and banana and to make it to where it's kind of crisp i don't know how to do that baby y'all got my mind on something else that's important and to me trying to figure out how to um make that into maybe some kind of cookie or something i don't know that's important you motherfuckers are cool 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 but listen i'll get off here because i'm behind on my shows the shit that what i like to do and make sure y'all uh give it you listen when i say listening you're listening more than you're talking you listen to your body and all that other good shit okay because it'll tell you something listen be quiet Shh. shut the fuck up do that be still sometimes you know don't be all you know whatever some of y'all gotta whew, try i don't know what the fuck i was thinking but anyway yes yeah, been fire i got you girl your message honey you might apply to somewhere else but baby i'm applying to another location honey other ones oh shit to the whole goddamn thing Mm-mm. <laughs> Hey, what Nene said, the door is closed. Listen, ain't nobody else can get in. Okay, not from this shit here. And and as is and if the rest of them that's left fuck up, they get on out there too. Cause I ain't gonna be able to do it. And they get them off this goddamn out of this space. No ma'am, and no sir. You gotta go. Two fingers, what? To the sky. And sometimes it's one finger to the sky shit. Depending on how you feel. But anyway, y'all, I am glad y'all joined me back here, honey. We had to laugh at Spit Fire. Make sure y'all go check out the video if you want to hear the rest of it. Like, share, and subscribe her channel uh with caution because she don't seem like she's interested. <laughs> oh, boy, that shit funny. Spit fire is what? Traumatized. I know that's right. Ooh, somebody need to do like her, her her picture up there with the word traumatized going across that motherfucker. They done got her. And they done took down all the videos. So anyway. Peace out, y'all. Thank y'all so much. And if you can't do nothing else for each other, just pray for one another. Not y'all devils and Satans and all of that. And then the people that's praying for people down for matter of fact, let me take that off. There. Don't worry about it. Y'all don't pray. Don't worry about it because you motherfuckers are evil. Don't worry about it. Just do whatever y'all do. Okay. Just leave me out of it. All right, then now. All right, but make sure y'all give. Y'all can do that. That don't require much. Just give. Help out. Be a blessing to somebody. In any way you can. Give somebody a ride. Give somebody a dollar to get on the bus or whatever it is. But be a blessing, okay? All right. To the next time. To the best time. Club Blue and we are out. I will upload this video to what? Our channel. Once I can. Bye, y'all.